This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with the company Nagual Sounds. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014 and it's a real pleasure today to be here with uh, Nagual Sounds uh, and uh, I have uh, uh, Mark uh, Mebius, uh, so thanks for joining me and uh, Matthias Strobel uh, who are respectively Chief Executive Officer, CEO and uh, CMO of the company. So uh, Nagual Sounds has been making uh, waves in the last few months and has had uh, some pretty uh, great accolades. You also won at the uh, Medium Lab uh, in, in your category and so so lots of great stuff happening. Uh, first of all, what is uh, Nagua Sounds all about and uh, uh, what, what is the company all about? What our company does is um, translating data into music. This is uh, generally spoken and in particular we are translating movements into data. And so everybody who stands in front of the Kinect camera is able to create his own music just by moving his body. That's great. And so uh, how did you get the idea for the company? When did this all start? Um, well, there is a, was a lot of influence in the past, but it all started in a way three years ago when I uh, met Arthur Reimer, who's a DJ, and I worked as a composer before. And we got this idea, how could we like, um, give everybody the op opportunity to create music without studying composition, without being a DJ or producer. And that's how the idea came, became more like um, real. And um, finally we decided we have to do it. And yeah. so we started. Yeah. So, uh, in terms of uh, how the company uh, productized essentially what, what your, your, your core idea is, uh, one of the key things that we've seen is the, uh, the movement app essentially, which yeah. works with the Kinect. So, how did that come about and how did you start developing that? Um, in fact, uh, the, when the Kinect came out, we, we had the, the instrument to use because otherwise, if there was no Kinect, we couldn't do it. So, um, it is all very connected with the Kinect, of course. And um, yeah, we started two years ago working with the Kinect and then things like proceeded and we got in contact with Microsoft and we did presentations in the Microsoft store in Berlin yeah. and we had close contact with, with Microsoft and we are also develop, uh, developing our first product, so Nagual Dance, we are developing for the Xbox One. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's how things proceeded. That's amazing. So an Nagual Dance, uh, uh, how, how do you make this uh, so that it's uh, something that people understand and, uh, and uh, you know, it has to be something that people get immediately, right? Yeah, exactly. The intuitive um, aspect is very important. So um, we don't want to, you know, to, to make a complicated software that you have to learn. The thing is you have to stand in front of the camera and if you move, you have music. And then yeah. it's very intuitive, you find out how it works. And that's also the interface. We have a, um, a graphical interface that shows you different like parts in the space. Yeah. And um, we connect this space with notes, with rhythms, with uh, harmonies. So if you move, you have different areas. And um, these areas are connected to different harmonies. And by changing your feet or position or your hand position, you will have um, the, the musical feedback of your movement. That's fa fantastic. And it's kind of like uh, we haven't really seen much of a uh, change uh, from uh, the days of uh, you know those uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, games that you found in malls or something where you were dancing and moving your feet across across <laughs> the board uh, so this essentially is, is, a, is a completely new way of, of doing a similar thing but uh, uh, so so much more advanced right yeah, yeah the the most interesting thing is that um, you know there are dance games where you have to follow pre-configured choreographies and we have to dance to music. Yeah. The whole new thing is that what we are doing is that you create your own music. It's just uh, the whole thing thought one step further. So um, you are, the one thing is that we want to encourage dancers to move more and um, to be creative while dancing. And the other kind of target group is the people who want to be musically creative and didn't have the chance now to do it. And now they can. They just have to move in front of the camera. It doesn't matter if they have software skills or music theory knowledge. They just have to move and they can be creative through their own inner rhythm that they also already have in them. That's awesome. And so is it going to be completely original music that people create? Or are you thinking of, uh, of integrating also commercial music into the product? 
yeah, right now we are producing the soundscapes. This is how we call the music, musical poly possibilities, the, the worlds that you can dance in. Right now we're producing them by ourselves. Yeah. In the future we want to work together with other producers, labels, artists, people who are looking for new ways to interact with their fans, to, who want to find new ways to bring their music out of the market. And it's also good for us to get new genres into our portfolio and give the people more freedom in their dancing, dancing moves and in their whole, like, People, all people have certain kinds of uh, interest in music. They are all different in their kind of interests, and we want to provide them all so that yeah. everybody can do whatever they want and dance whatever they want in their kind of music. That's their favorite music. Sure. I'm, maybe I would like to add something because our plan is to create also an interface which can be used by artists, by producers to produce soundscapes. Yeah. So by now you can use Ableton or Logic or whatever to produce. Into, uh, to, to produce tracks, but um, to produce interactive tracks, you will you, you will you, um, be able to use our interface. Yeah. So then everybody can like create soundscapes themselves. And we've seen like some uh, really successful artists using uh, new technologies to make interesting stuff, but uh, they were always tied down to a physical element. So uh, Bjork had her React table uh, a few years ago, and we've seen uh, Imogen Heap with her Glove project as well. Uh, but the idea of having a performer that can move on stage as well, live, and create music that way, that would be pretty awesome. Yeah, um, I think the major project or the major aim of the whole project is to uh, make a link between the data and the music. Right. So to, to, to have a data dimension and a music dimension. And um, you have to find out first w which dimension is has to be connected with the music dimension. Otherwise, you will end up in chaos. So And this is the ma major research, with what we did. Yeah, exactly. And so is it essentially all your own research that you you don't have any API integration or any no, external it's data. All done by ourselves. We we wrote our own software. We built our own synthesizers. It's all done by ourselves. But I wanted to add something to your question before. Sure. Like the things that Imogen Heap is doing. This is really creative stuff. But then, the clubs that she invented is something that probably won't be able for the commercial market to buy for everybody. Yeah. So it's uh, it's something that is good for performances and it's really great to watch it. But it's, uh, it's not something that everybody can use. And this is our main goal is that everybody can be musically creative. And this is why we're working with the Kinect camera and not with sensors or with gloves so that everybody can be able to do it and not uh, only certain people who can afford it. So yeah. that's one of the major things. Absolutely. So you're based in Berlin and we're going to be on a panel actually together uh, on Monday talking about uh, the, uh, uh, you know, how to set up a company in Berlin and what the best things are. So how are you finding Berlin? You know, of course, uh, uh, we're all familiar with SoundCloud, that's sort of the, the, the poster boy for uh, Berlin startups, but there's a lot more companies out there. So what's the environment like? How, how are you finding it? I think the environment in Berlin is, is something special in Germany because it's a place where people from all over the world come together. It's a melting spot for creative people from all kinds of art scenes, from all kinds of music scenes. Uh, lots of labels are settling down there and um, this is one of the, the major aspects for probably all the startups are trying to settle down in Berlin because they find the people that they need to start their business. Yeah. And um, you probably won't find it in other cities in Germany. There might be some like Cologne or Hamburg, but um, that probably is it. And Berlin has it all that you yeah. need to do it. Yeah, and maybe um, it's also a very personal story because everybody of our team moved to Berlin without knowing each other. Oh, okay, and so awesome. we got to know each other in Berlin, but nobody of us is from Berlin. So yeah. it is a, just a personal story. We came all together there. And so it's not the question of we chose the city as a team, yeah. but we came together in Berlin. And so our South by Southwest here, uh, tomorrow you're gonna showcase uh, uh, your uh, product at the Ber Berlin house. Uh, and so uh, how are you finding the experience so far? And uh, what do you think uh, South by can bring to, to, to your company as well? It's I can speak for myself, but I think it's completely overwhelming. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a totally different approach also to the technology world. In, in Germany, you're a bit suspicious about new technologies, which you don't find in America. It's the new, the future is, is uh, in here. Yeah. And in Germany, there's lots of discussion about data abuse and so. And there's a, the, 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 um, the atmosphere is totally different. Yeah, yeah. even the fact that uh, uh, there's uh, open access Wi-Fi is something that yeah. in Europe you don't, yeah, you uh, you don't get it. because yeah. uh, there's always some sort of layer of protection because yeah. of uh, laws and all sorts of stuff. And I think it's something that, um, that keeps people from starting an innovation thing that are scared about um, their data. This is something that not only in Germany but all over Europe people are scared about that. Yeah. In America the people don't think that much, they just do. 
and this is why so many great ideas start growing, 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 and then not not all of them make it, More, but yeah. um, a lot of them. And this is why that they're also because the population is um, bigger than in Germany, but. Um, it's also because the people are more brave. They just try to do something and if they fail, they don't care, they start something new. And the whole thing about failing is, uh, is completely different understood here in, in America than in Germany. And this is why people are eager to try again and again and again and again. And then in Germany or in, in Europe, people are really thinking about, oh, should I do it or should I not do it? And then um, they think more than the people here, they just do. Yeah, sure. And finally, I want to ask you about uh, you know the rise of uh, hardware devices. You know, of course, you were talking about the Kinect. Uh, there's a bunch of other sort of trackers that are coming into the marketplace. You know, the Leap launch, so sort of launch here. They had a bigger uh, sort of uh, stand here last year, and it hasn't really done as well as we were hoping, unfortunately. But but it's definitely a very interesting piece of technology. So, can you see any other devices come into play that may be you know handy for you guys to to integrate within within Aguel? There are a lot of sensor companies uh, um, popping up on the market right now. So, and um, also a lot of 3D cameras. Um, are, you know, Apple bought PrimeSense, uh, Intel yeah. has RealSense, and um, there are so many different 3D cameras and sensor companies that are just popping out on the market. So there will be a lot more in the future. And um, of course, we can imagine to work with other sensors as well. The important thing is that it uh, is like affordable to everybody. Yeah. And um, yeah. Yeah. And, um Maybe I want to speak about the framework which we're doing because our aim is um, to translate data into music. And so yeah. which data we use and which sensors we use is not the most important question. The thing is we have to develop our framework, our software, and then we could use several sensors because there might pop up ideas in the future which data you want to translate into music which because they're inventing new sensors and which we cannot think of today. But if we develop our technology, we can adapt it to different sensors, to different situations, yeah. It's fantastic. Well, guys, uh, uh, best of luck here at South by Southwest. And of course, this video should be, go uh, should be going live tomorrow. So if you are here and you want to go and check out uh, uh, Nagual, you can go to the uh, Berlin house tomorrow. Uh, are you there on Monday as well? On Monday. We are on Monday there. Oh, you're on Monday there. There, there are two different days. Tomorrow is okay. the, the Hamburg day, and the yeah. Monday is the Berlin day. Berlin day, yeah, so we'll be, uh, we be there on Monday. And I should know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, and, and the website for Nagual, for people that want to check out what you're doing, is... Uh, Nagualsounds.com. Perfect. Uh, thanks so much for your time, guys. That was great. It was great to be here. Thank you. And thanks for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest. You can find out more on digitalmusictrends.com.